Duncan Mackenzie McCarg and I'm in the capital of the Golden State. Today, I will experience a game day where a team can light up an entire city. This is how we play in California. Sacramento, known for its gold rush history, high-catching street murals and its award-winning chefs. With a fresh food reputation, it's called the farm to fork capital of America. The city also proudly boasts one of the oldest teams in the NBA, the Kings. Stacked with all-stars De'Aaron Fox and DeMantis Sabonis, the Kings are one of the most exciting teams to watch and their fans ride the wave with them. With a visionary owner, Vivek Ranadive, calling the shots, this is a franchise on the rise. You had to know that that was coming, the wind-up from Malik Monk. So I've come to Sacramento to see the transformation and to witness a new tradition lighting up the league. <laughs> Meeting me here, an Aussie and NBA championship winner, a member of the Kings' recent NBA Team of the Year, Matthew Della Vadova. G'day, Delly. How's it going? Good, how are you going? Good, mate. How does it feel to be back in... Sacramento? Uh, it's great. Uh, you know, got a lot of friends on the team still and uh, fun to be back. You're only in Sacramento for one season, but it was a pretty memorable season. Can you just describe what it was like? Yeah, it was a really memorable season and just the vibes of the team were, were great. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the, the Kings made the playoffs uh, for the first time in 16 years and the fans were, were going nuts and uh, that, that first time when um, the team ran out of, out of the tunnel for the first playoff game was uh, deafening noise. It was a uh, really cool season to be a part of. How would you describe these Sacramento Kings fans? Because they're some of the most passionate in the league. I think each city is unique in its own way. I mean, Sacramento is known uh, for the cowbell. The Keegan Murray chant, I'm sure you're here. They're into the game, they, they know basketball, uh, understand the game and, and really try to lift the team when, when the team needs it. The Beams almost turned into an NBA phenomenon, isn't it? It's quite crazy that it's only been around for just over a year and it's just, it's so popular and, and fans all around the league are talking about it. Our fans on the road were, were chanting like the Beam once, once the game was uh, kind of in hand, so it's uh, it's a really cool thing. I know driving home from the arena after a win and and seeing them being lit up, you know, in in the uh, mirror was a cool thing. Hey, Delhi, thanks so much for lunch. Really appreciate it. Nah, thanks. Hopefully the Kings light the beam for you tonight. The team and beam are based at a state-of-the-art purpose-built arena in the heart of the city called Golden One Centre. This arena here is one of the best arenas here that you've seen all of, uh, I would say, in the nation. Inside, one of the most modern sports spaces in the country. The video board screen is 26 metres long, or 84 feet, the second largest in the NBA. You commentate in arenas all over the world. Where does this place stack up? This is right near the top. I mean, when you come to a Sacramento Kings game, you're going to get the ultimate NBA experience because here, the fans are in it all 48 minutes. The Kings' journey to prosperity hasn't been easy. In 2013, the team was nearly sold to Seattle, but that's when runner Dive came in and saved the day. So I wanted to meet the man with the keys to the kingdom. Vivek, what inspired the beam? Well, the beam uh, was something I'd been thinking about because when I went to David Kelly, uh, he said that if you ever go on Virgin Air, the first thing you notice when you get on the plane is the purple lights. I was fascinated by the purple lights and I kept thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we had purple lights on the top of the arena, on the roof, so that when I was flying from San Francisco to New York, I could look out the window and I could say, oh, the kings are in the house. But of course, um, my people came to me and said, hey, you know, we got something even better. What if we do a laser instead of lights? Uh, and so we now have the beam, which is a laser that shoots basically into outer space. So of course, our goal is to one day win the championship, but in order to do that, we gotta keep winning games. So the beam has become a beacon of hope uh, for 
the city of Sacramento. The city has the beam, it also has the bell. The bigger the bell, the better the bell. Let's go, kids! Yeah! What's the story with all the cowbells? So back in like 2000, 2001, before they cheated us in 2002, Bill Jackson called us a cow town at Arco Arena, because we're just a small market town in California surrounded by cow bills. So we took that around with it, and now we ring bells in everyone's ears. Yeah. Well, I better join in then. <laughs> so the stage is set. Time for tip off. Now, can the Kings win and light the beam? Outlet to Sabonis on the move. Rips through and punches it. Sitting with your chest stole on. Chabot to Bill. Punches one home. Numbers here. Domas. Oh, Malik. The room showed his throwdown. Keon with the bet. Took his lunch money. Barnes rattles home. What? And Malik bumps. He just glides through the air. Transition. Keegan. Tearing it up. Bang, bang, bang. Got it. Fox stares down to Allen. Took the hit. No whistle. Got it to fall. Boy, Fox, what a series of jab steps. Murray. Fox to the rim. Out to Murray. What a pass. Keegan Murray laces it. And it's a final 120, 105. Your king, exactly what this crowd wanted to see. With the game in hand, it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. And who better to do the honors than King's royalty, Chris Webber. This is my first time lighting the beam, Sacramento. Hey, let's go! Eight thousand eight hundred watts of purple power blasted into the night sky. The seven lasers are the brightest of their kind anywhere in the world. It's so spectacular, Kings fans have listed the Victory Beam as a place of worship on Google Maps. What a day, what a city, and what a team. If you do come to California, make sure you check out the Sacramento Kings right here at Golden One Center, because that was an unforgettable game day experience. Come play at visitcalifornia.com.